Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let me show you how this little atrium catch basin can stop the water from flooding in your yard. First, let's take a look at how that catch basin actually works. This is our favorite six by six round catch basin, single outlet. See that? And the way this works, we have a grate on the top and as water comes across the yard, it drops into the basin and is carried away. This is much different than the French drain. This collects immediate surface water. In other words, when it rains really hard and it begins to flood across the yard, it'll drop into your basin and be carried away. But sometimes the debris in your yard, like grass clippings or leaves, pine straw, whatever's building up in your yard, will clog the top of this, and then it doesn't work, right? So, simple solution, <laughs> atrium grate. So as debris builds along the side of the grate, there is still a place for water to be collected through the top, and that is an atrium grate. Some people call it a dome grate. Remember, this is much different than the French drain. A French drain collects subsurface water, water underground. This collects the water on top of the ground, and it is by far much better than a French drain. It collects more water faster and will remove that flood instantly. Atrium grates come in all sizes. You can see here is a four inch one. This one's a six inch one. And whether you have a big six by six drain or you have a little four inch drain, the same thing works. Debris builds up along the side, but there's still a place for water to drop into the top. Let's take a look at a grate that is totally covered with debris and you'll understand what I'm talking about. So here is a covered up grate. Can you see it? I mean, you can't even see it. There's so much debris on here, but it's right here. Take a look. You see that? That's all from when it rained. And what happens is all of this debris, it just floats across the ground because this is pulling water down into it. So it just backs up. It won't allow it to drain. Pretty simple fix. Pull the grate off. You can see it's pretty clean down there. Add the atrium grate. Now, this debris can build up all around the sides of it. But as that water level rises, it can still drop into the grate and be carried away. Okay, grates come in all kinds of sizes and shapes. This one's steel grate. This one's a solid grate and it goes on a big 12 by 12 catch basin. So you would use this like in your pavers or your driveway because it can handle the weight of a truck or a car. This is a little three inch drain. You would use this on your pool deck, for example, or maybe in a sidewalk. This allows water to run across the concrete, drop directly down into the drain and be carried away. There's all kinds of grates. Nine by nine grate fits into that nine inch catch basin. This is a 12 inch grate, round 12 inch grate. And what we do with this, this is a great idea and something that you can easily do yourself. We use a piece of 12 inch culvert pipe, cut it to any depth that you want. We leave the bottom open and we put gravel down into the bottom of that hole. Then we can drill the outlet of this catch basin to any depth that we want. Four inch, six inch, whatever size you want to discharge with. I would say to run six inch out of this big grate. When you use this type of a catch basin, it's better to have a bigger outlet. So you can drill to any, any level that you want, but I would run six inch out of here because we want to move that water as fast as possible. Remember these little four inch drains, Remember these little outlets for the four inch, they move water quickly. Um, but this, wow, it, it moves water so fast, especially with a big six inch discharge. So here's an example with that steel grate on a 12 by 12. And we want to move that water out of this area as fast as possible. So we've added a six inch drain. Can you see that? This really moves the water quickly. Another great tip is, I don't know if you've seen the video where I make these sod stoppers. This is a bucket lid cost you one dollar and then you go ahead and set your grate on the top trace around it cut it out and you've got this six inch hole simply snap it in place and now we have an atrium grate with the sod stopper 
This stops the sod from growing across the top of this. It works so good, and I mean, it costs a dollar. To Finally, make. this is a big 18 by 18 square grate. This actually comes from a, a catch basin kit, and this works great, but again, you have to have a large discharge for these big basins to work properly. The other thing I see people doing is they put this down on top of the gravel of their French drain, thinking this is going to collect surface water. It does not work. The blind inlet, it's not what you want to do. It has many problems, and I've got a video to show you what happens with this grate. So remember, these little atrium grates are so valuable, especially if you've got an area that has a lot of debris when it rains. So let's look at a clip of a small install where we replace the flat grate with the atrium grate. Take a look. So here is a covered up grate. Can you see it? I mean, you can't even see it. There's so much debris on here, but it's right here. Take a look. You see that? That's all from when it rained. And what happens is all of this debris, it just floats across the ground because this is pulling water down into it. So the, it just backs up. It won't allow it to drain. So here's another example. Can you even see the grate? Can you find it? It's right here. And look how covered up it is. Another six by six that is totally backed up, not only from the debris, but the grass is growing across there. So let's go ahead and do two things. One, let's cut the sod off around the sides. Pretty simple to do. Take your shovel, cut it off. Remove that sod, remove the sod, put your sod stopper on there, and then add your atrium grate. Look at that. Not only have we stopped the sod from coming across, but as the debris builds up around the sides, you can see it. Water can still flood into the top and be carried away. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. No matter where you live in the world, live help is available. If you live in the Houston area and you're having a big flood, Try the Houston Flood Mitigators, a great new company 